were privileged to be in a dispensation where the people who manage our finances are putting together a structure like this. So, Mr. Speaker, I want to encourage our colleagues on the other side. I want to encourage my good friend who just spoke. In my hometown, we say Papano. 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 I want to encourage Papano to take some time and follow the structure of this transaction and to support it. I thank you, Mr. Speaker, for the opportunity. I was saying that the Minister of Information made reference to a colleague as Papano. Uh, Mr. Speaker, it is not everybody in this chamber that understands that language. But the reception that we are getting from our side, it means that that reference is unparliamentary. So it's, 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 it's a member. Because, Mr. Speaker, we, we, we always refer to our colleagues as a member of social and so or an honorable member. But to refer to your colleague as Papano is derogatory. So if you can withdraw that statement, it will be fine. Mr. Speaker, in line with Order 47 of the standing orders of this House, that says that the proceedings of Parliament shall ordinarily be conducted in the English language, except that a member may exercise the option to address the House in either Akan and Zema, Ga, Ivi, Hausa, Dagbani, Dagari, or in any other language, provided facilities exist in the House for its interpretation. Midway through my submissions, I said I want to encourage my colleague on the other side who just spoke, who in my language will refer to as Papano, who just spoke, to support, to support, to support this motion. Honorable Minority Leader. Yeah. Yeah, speaker. I've, I've heard you. I've heard you ask our colleague to do what is honorable and what respects our standing orders. His referral of a colleague as Papanu. Oh, what he wants to achieve, what he wants to achieve, he can repeat it as many times as he wish. But Mr. Speaker, I'm interested in your ruling. There are many names we can come across from today. Some will dedicate to some. And there are many names. And Mr. Speaker, I know you won't encourage us to do so because... I will seek comfort in Dagani or in Hausa or in Gurinsi or in Nakani to use words that are not acceptable and to come to Parliament to employ those words used on social media we take strong objection to it. If you don't withdraw, we will recognize you today as minister. We will refer to you as minister. We will not do what you do. From today, we will recognize you as minister of this department. And we will not accord you any respect as minister. Let's throw it to the dogs. What do you mean? What do you take us for? What do you take us for? What do you take us for? So, Papa, you accept it. From today, on this side, we will not recognize you as a minister of state. We will give you a name. We will give you a name. We will give you a name. Uh, Mr. Speaker, we too, from, we too, we will call you Mamino. <laughs> Mamino. Mamino. Mr. Speaker, you are vested with the powers for the observance of order in the house. When the incident happens, the minority leader comes in to raise issue 
and call for the Minister of um, Information to withdraw a certain usage. I think that is in order. That is in order. That call is in order. Now, Mr. Speaker, unfortunately, before the leader himself ended, he then says that from today on, if you don't withdraw, we will not recognize you. Mr. Speaker, space should be given to the Speaker to make a ruling. You don't allow the Speaker's space to make a determination. And then you go on to say that from now on, you're not going to recognize you. And then, and then, and then you also, and then you also ended by saying that from now on, he's my you know. Yes, that's what you said. That's what you said. That is what you said. Don't bear false witness at all. The man, I'm directly opposite him. Goodness. Goodness. Is that how you are? James, is that how you are? That you didn't hear what the leader said. That is strange. If you say that you didn't hear, that is strange. That is strange. And it's, it's a very sad comment from you if you say, sitting close to the leader, that he didn't, he didn't say that. Mr. Speaker, two wrongs certainly don't make a right. Two wrongs don't make a right. And as I said, I, I agree. The others provide as to how to address one another. If he goes off tangent, of course, all of us occasionally, all of us occasionally, we slip. I thought, I thought that what my colleague said was said in jest. But if he takes offense to it, he has a right to call on the member to withdraw. He has a right to call on the member to withdraw. If he has to apologize, I don't worry. Except the minority leader will also have to apologize to him. Yes. Now you say no. You see, you see how it is. You see how it is. You will now say the minority leader should withdraw and apologize. In this house, I don't remember the number of times that a speaker presiding has ruled that the member should apologize or withdraw that they have willingly done that. They will find all kinds of means to avoid withdrawing. And John, you were guilty of that when I ruled that you were wrong. You changed what you are saying and rather restated the thing and pretended that you didn't say what you said. My ruling was that it is inappropriate according to our rules to refer to a member as any other name or title other than by what the rule says, by the person's um, constituency or by his office or position in the house. That is what the rule says. 